very careful to go over this film with the actual OSCE sheet so that you see if I've missed something or not. I'm liable to miss something. And that way you can say, oh, she missed something. All right. Hello. Hi. Hi. My name's Terry. I'm going to be your nurse today. Let me close that door for privacy. Um, I'm here today to do a head-to-toe assessment on you, and I want to know, can you tell me your name and date of birth? I'm going to look at your armband here and compare it to my chart. Um, March 22nd, 1984. Okay, thank you, and that matches with the paperwork I have. The other thing I'm going to do is, is I'm going to check, you've got an IV pole here, and it's attached to your arm. So I am going to look at my chart. Did, is this bothering you any? Does that hurt? No. All right, so I've checked the IV site, and I look at my chart, which you'll have, and I say, oh, okay, normal saline, 50 an hour. All right, so that all checks out real well. Can you tell me, uh, uh, may I call you insult? Is yes. that right? Do you have any allergies? No. All right, well, that's good. So let's get started with the, the little checks uh, that I'm going to do today. Do you know where you are today? Yes, I'm at the Smart Lab. All right. Do you know what the date is? It is October 3rd. Uh, that's good check in there. Uh, do you know about what time of day it is? It's about 2 o'clock. You know the day of the week? It's Tuesday. Man, I'm checking everything, aren't I? All right. Uh, what I want you to do is, is I want you to smile for me. All right, I can tell that your face is symmetric by your smile. It's nice and even. Can you tell me how many fingers I have up? Four. So you can see my fingers and you can hear the question and you answer the question. I want you to do this. I want you to put your uh, finger on one side of the nose, breathe in and out. And the same on the other side. Okay, so your airways are patent. And so are you in any pain today? On, I'm going to rephrase it. On a scale of 0 to 10, with 0 being no pain at all and 10 being severe pain, how would you rate your pain? 0. All right. Well, I can tell you you seem relaxed and don't seem to be showing any signs of discomfort or pain today. All right. The next thing I want to do is I really want to look inside your mouth. Could I, um, I'm going to go to the other side of the bed because all my tools are there. I'm going to raise the head of the bed up just a little bit for you. Okay. All right. I want you to, whoa, let's see if I can get this open. There it is. I did not touch that. Open your mouth. Do one for me. Well, if this would work, if only. There it is. Okay. Are you turn towards me. Okay. I see that. Uh, Put your tongue up in your mouth. Good job. All right. So your oral mucous membranes are uh, pink and moist, and I didn't see any signs of lesions. What I'd like to do now is is um, listen to your lungs. And this is an ancient bed. I can't quite figure out how to do that yet. <laughs> Every time I touch my stethoscope down, I want you to breathe in and out nice and deep through your mouth, okay? I'm going to start on your front and then we'll move around and clean my stethoscope all over just for that. Okay, a little damp there. Okay, above the clavicles, breathe in and out. Good. I'm going to go underneath your gown just a little bit. Oh, I bet you tied it, didn't you? Ah! My hand's cold? No. I'm going to knot it. That's what I'm going to do. It is. Shall I get my scissors out? Here. There you go. <laughs> Lay back again. Thank you. I'm going to go for the underneath sets. In and out. Excellent. going to do your lateral. Make sure you leave your stethoscope down for the full breath in and out. It must be scoped to skin for it to count. And it can't be over bone or, in the case of women, over the fullness of the breast. Good. 
good. And so I'm going to get you to sit up some for sure. me. I'm going to listen to your back again. Not over the scapula or the backbone. I didn't quite get that. Let me try that. Thank you. That's excellent. Just lay back. I could tell that your lungs were clear to auscultation in all fields, anterior, posterior, and lateral. I didn't hear any adventitious sounds. Everything was clear. Now listen to your heart now. Just lay back and relax, okay? okay. Now listen to it twice. Find the sternal notch. Come down to the angle of Louis. Oh, I'm sorry, I forget your ticklish. Listen long enough to get a sense of rhythm. Listening for unusual sounds. For a woman, I would suggest coming down uh, up from the bottom for the tricuspid, but for a man, it's fine. Right. I'm listen one more time with my bell. Your heart, S1, was heard loudest at the apex. S2 was heard loudest at the base. I didn't hear any extra sounds or extra murmurs, and the rhythm was regular on that. The next thing I'm going to do is the abdomen. And I know you all haven't had this in class. You'll learn it next week. But I'm going to go ahead and demo this for you anyway as part of the OSCE. All right? I'm going to have to lay you flat. Do you have any abdominal pain at all? No. Okay. So I'm going to the blanket up and I'm going to expose your abdomen just a little. Is that okay with you? That's fine. Okay. Okay. The first thing I want to do with the abdomen is I want to inspect the abdomen and I get down at eye level with the flashlight. I'm looking for pulsations or bulges like hernias or things like that. And I don't see any of that on your abdomen right now. So that looks good. The next thing I'm going to do is auscultate, and I'm going to turn my back to my diaphragm, and I'm going to go in four quadrants, and I'm just going to listen. I'm listening for gurgles. You'll talk about this next week. There's a little something. A whole lot going on there. I'd say your bowel sounds are hypoactive right now. Uh, I want you to flex your knees up just a little bit for me. That'll make this a little more comfortable. I'm just going to touch your abdomen. I'm going to palpate in all four quadrants. Is it tender or anything? So your abdomen was soft and non distended and no tenderness noted. And the next thing I'm going to do is percuss. This is a little different and we'll talk about it next week. And I would say that that was a tympanic sound across your abdomen. Right. Okay. I'm going to raise the head of your bed up now again, just a little bit, and stretch your legs back out. Uh, you appear to be, I'm going to pull this back just a bit. Oh, there's your feet. And there's this draw sheet, which is in the wrong spot. So you're like a light tan color, upper and lower. I'm going to feel your body temperature. It's a little cooler, and I would feel legs warm, warm, nice and warm, with fingers a little cooler, like tan, upper and lower. Um, I want you to do, uh, I'm going to feel your pulses first, just 
relax there. Got to feel them both at the same time. Got that one. Don't have this one. Pulses, two plus out of three plus bilateral. Nice and strong and reduce your cap refill. Let me borrow your hand there for a second. Looking good. Cap refill, less than two seconds times 10. Now, I'd like for you to do what I do, okay? I want you to stretch your hands straight out like that, and I want you to bend them back like this, out, over, and back again. Full range of motion, I want you to put them like this, and I want you to push against me. All right, and pull back, all right. Muscle strength, five out of five bilateral. Now, on your, uh, I talked about the temperature here. I'm gonna look at I'm going to try to find your pulses here, and you can find either posterior tibial or I'm finding the dorsalis pedis or dorsalis pedis, whichever one, you, wherever you come from. Ah, I got that one. Let's find this one. You have to be patient. There we go. Wait a minute. There we go. Plus two out of three on the pulses. I'm going to look for edema. I'm going to come down here and press for about five seconds here in the post tibial area and I don't see any edema there but if I did find edema I would have to measure with a centimeter tape on that. Okay? Um, there's two ways to do muscle strength on the arms. One was that pushing and the other is squeeze my hands tight, tight, muscle strength five out of five. That was one way you could do it or that pushing back. On the feet, there's one way you can do it too. Can you press against my hands, like stepping on the gas, and now pull back? All right, so muscle strength is five out of five. I can do that. Or I can ask you, if you would, to sit on the side of the bed for me. Thank you. Okay, stretch your legs all the way out and under as far as you can get them. I know the bed won't stop you from that. So full range of motion by lap and push against me with your legs, all right, and pull back muscle strength five out of five. So I could have done muscle strength either that way or with your feet going back and forth. I'm going to put you back to bed. I'm going to make sure that your bed is in the lowest position uh, and your call bell is in reach. Is there anything else I can get for you? No. Say no. No, just an A on your OSCE, right? All right, make sure that the bed is in low position. Uh, that's what I got. I'm going to go with that. Uh, somebody's going to grade me on this. Uh, did you see anything, Victor, right off the top that I missed? No, um, I think <coughs> yeah, you didn't go in the correct order for... Oh, well, that's okay. Order doesn't right. count. It says it counts. Order doesn't count. I know what I didn't say. On the skin color, I lost a point because I didn't say, and there are no signs of pallor, yeah. jaundice, or any unusual skin tone. Just done. Um... I don't know. Uh, those people who are watching will have to grade me, okay? That helps you do it too. And the other way that it helps you to study is before I did this, I just wrote it all down in shorthand to help me remember what I did. Maybe I did all that. We'll see. All right, thanks.